Welcome to Veterans in Politics. We're out in a boat. We're at the 2015 Real World Film Festival. I'm here with the uh, Toronto filmmaker, Tyrone Tommy. Thank you, Tyrone, for your time. Thank you for having me. You had a film in this festival this year, and it was called Avalanche. Yeah, Avalanche is a short father-son drama based in archery that I um, wrote and directed uh, last year and is playing in the festival. Um, it's pretty much about a young boy who's desperately trying not to become the thing he fears most, which is his militant father, and how he slowly is becoming him despite his uh, efforts. It's more of a reflection piece, so for us to watch it and to, to when the movie ends, for us to, to question how we are, you know, what aspects are we taking from our teachers and from um, our parents and things like that, so we could really reflect on ourselves. Because some of it's a bit unavoidable, you know, some of the things that we have from our parents and stuff like that, it's just, just natural things that we just have picked up over the years. But it's nice to be able to look at it and be able to say, you know, do I like that or do I not like that? And maybe even make a change about it. But I think movies like this one are definitely help with that, starting the conversation. It's like a mirror, uh, you know, we're shining in front of everyone and the reflection we're looking back at is ourself and how we can improve ourselves. Absolutely, yeah, and sometimes you like it and sometimes you don't. And uh, yeah, but the, the point is to start that conversation in the first place, because if we don't start the conversation, then it never happens. Being a young filmmaker here in Toronto, what are some of the pitfalls that you ran into within the film industry uh, that you're trying to overcome and you've been able to overcome to this point? Um, I mean, you know, being a, being a, you know, a young black male in Toronto, trying to make films is, is a little difficult uh, sometimes. It's not necessarily set up for that, but you mean, um, I try not to focus too much on the on the barriers that exist and just try to focus on the openings and the opportunities are there, taking advantage of as much things as possible. I mean, my, my problems are usually pretty much the same as anyone else's is budget and, and confidence and finding the right people in story. So, I mean, once you get over those humps, um, you can create anything. And, and, you know, this is my third short, so I've done it three times. So it's, it's, it's possible. So it's just a matter of, of continuously breaking the mold and, and finding the money and the confidence to do it. That's what I love about the Real World Film Festival is the fact it celebrates uh, diversity, you know, uh, in Toronto, uh, the all over Ontario, all over Canada and the rest of the world. All the films coming in here, your projects, just amazing to see. Um, what's your thoughts on the Real World Film Festival? I, I love the Real World Film Festival. I think it's so important to have a festival of this caliber and this size showing off um, all the different facets of our society, you know, especially, you know, being here at the Scotiabank Theatre, it's, it's, you know, the premier theater in downtown and so to have our stories and these stories shown here in this location um, to, in Toronto I think is, is, is extremely important. Your website real quick so that way people can follow you you know if you have any updates you can put it on there? Absolutely people can follow me on Twitter at Tyrone Tommy uh, it's T-H-Y-R-O-N-E um, and also if uh, people want to follow Avalanche uh, facebook.com slash Avalanche film and they can follow all the updates about about Avalanche, where our festivals were playing at, where it's being broadcasted, and so on. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.